Welcome back to Digital Wandering. And again, I wanted to show my 2011 MacBook Pro running Elementary OS. And um, it's been about a month, so I just want to give some additional feedback. Uh, this is an excellent operating system, probably my favorite Linux distro, and the one that I'll be using as my main uh, Linux operating system going forward. Uh, but I just want to give some additional feedback here on using elementary OS on this machine. Although a lot of the things I'm talking about probably would apply to other Linux distros as well. So it's been about a month. And now one thing I do have to be clear is this is not my main desktop device. Uh, I probably over that month used this a third most of, a, of all the desktop computers that I have. So this is not my main machine. So when certain things do not work on this machine, it's not a big deal for me because I have other devices that I use more often. So let's just talk about certain things here um, that I'm encountering just so that if you try to do this yourself, you can be prepared too. Uh, one thing I didn't mention the uh, previous video that has been a factor from the beginning is the camera um, I can't get this camera to work. I guess it's some type of drivers that I'm missing because it doesn't recognize the uh, the internal webcam of the laptop. Might be a way to get it to work, but again, since this is only like my number three device at the moment, I have other devices that you know have working webcams. So if I need to do any type of video conferencing or anything like like that, I can do that there. Um, Another thing that's been happening a lot lately, and let's see if it can, if it will actually show itself on camera. This is the app center down here in the dock. And this is where you can, this is their official app center or app store, uh, where you can actually get uh, applications for the system. And also this is where you also handle updates, system updates and application updates. And for whatever reason, I'm having trouble opening uh, the app store here. It will spin like it's loading and then it stop. And this happens quite often. And it's really been bad the last day or so. And that is a problem because I do not have the ability to get into the app center to do the things I need to do. Now I could probably do some things through the terminal, but I'm not a really confident terminal user on Linux. Uh, the terminal is, um, I don't memorize any terminal commands. So I have to look up commands just to do simple things. So it's just not a convenient thing for me to do. It's just not comfortable. It feels very tedious. And um, so I'm not a Linux power user. Most of the people on um, YouTube that you see that demo Linux are power users of some sort, and they are very comfortable in the terminal. Now you can use this system entirely without uh, using the terminal at all, but there's some advanced functions that you won't be able to do just using uh, this, the, the system icons and the applications and you just have to you certain things you may have to get in the terminal, but I don't really do that here. So, but with that being said, I still have a really high level of functionality in the system. Uh, so you don't have to use the terminal, but um, it may allow you to unlock some features that I don't really have the ability to do. Like right now, I'm having trouble getting into the App Center. There's probably things I could do in the terminal to actually get around that inability to open the App Center. Um, but since I'm not comfortable in the terminal, that is an ongoing issue for me. But again, since it's not my main device, I can live with it. Uh, I was having a trouble with the Wi-Fi dropping a lot in the past. That hasn't happened for the last few weeks. There was some updates in between that I think maybe has solved that issue. But overall, I'm very happy with this system. Now, if you are changing from an older version of Mac OS. Now, um, the version of Mac OS I had on this device before I added Elementary OX was a hacked version of Mac OS Catalina. Now that was a hacked version. It wasn't, this device does not support Mac OS Catalina uh, natively. Uh, the 
most recent version of Mac OS that you could put on this machine officially was uh, Mac OS High Sierra. And High Sierra is, I believe, 10.13. That came out in 2017 and is out of support as of 2020. So it's been about exactly a year since the last time Apple supported High Sierra. So if you had High Sierra on this machine, one thing a lot of the, the things that I've talked about so far, you wouldn't have any issues with. Everything will still work under High Sierra, like, uh, like the webcam. You wouldn't have any issue with that. Um, there's also an internal disk drive on this device. That internal disk drive uh, doesn't work under elementary OS. So that disk drive you could use to play CDs or DVDs. It's not functional here. It might be a way to get it to be functional, but I haven't figured that out yet. But again, it's not a major priority for me. Uh, but if you're using one of these old uh, computers with a disk drive, the ability to use legacy media like uh, CDs and DVDs may be a reason why you hold on to an old machine like this. So that may be a big deal for you. That disk drive will work, will definitely work under High Sierra, uh, but it doesn't work here. Um, also, I would say that under Mac OS, uh, this uh, machine uh, is faster. Um, Mac OS is more optimized for this device. So if you're using Elementary S on here, it may feel slower than Mac OS. But the big benefit you're, you're getting by switching over to um, elementary OS is that it's a still a supported system that is updated on the regular. So we're under High Sierra, it hasn't been updated by Apple in over a year, it's completely out of support. Uh, under elementary OS, you'll have a supported system. Now this device came out in 2011. I had it under Mac OS for 10 years. So I'm very comfortable with putting something new on here. Also, I wanted to have something that gave this additional support uh, because it definitely is a security risk to have an old operating system, especially if you're using it as your main uh, daily driver. Uh, so I wanted to just have something that's uh, well supported or completely supported because the thing about High Sierra is that it is still fairly well supported by third party um, companies. So you can still have the latest third party uh, like uh, web browsers, like the Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, you name it, it will still work under High Sierra and probably all the other major applications that you could either download from online, uh, from the, off the internet or even uh, from the app store. A lot of those will still work very well under High Sierra. So you have a lot of functionality on third party applications, it's just that the Apple stuff, the core of the operating system hasn't been supported for a year. So that is a problem, but the functionality overall will still be good. You might lose some of that functionality uh, if you switch over to Linux, or it may be difficult to try to regain it, um, just trying to get certain things internally that will work for perfectly fine under Mac OS, you may have some trouble trying to get it to work under a Linux distro. So that could be an issue. Uh, but I think overall it is well worth it just to give these older devices some additional life. Uh, but that's basically all I wanted to talk about right now. This is Digital Wandering signing off.